Hi everybody and welcome to Barbie Dolls of the Week. I know everybody is in a scary time right now and um, I am too. And so dolls do help to um, cope with that and give us a sense of normalcy I think for those of us who are collectors that is. So I want to do today's video with that in mind. So first of all, I've got four dolls I want to show you, and the first one is the doll that I mentioned last week when I was uh, showing you the Hollywood collection where I unboxed or deboxed uh, the doll that was in this outfit, um, if you remember this outfit. And got a lot of great compliments on this doll and the other one that was from the Classic Collection. So I mentioned a blonde Valentine doll that I had years ago put in this outfit and had on display. So I wanted to show you her today. And let me fix that scarf a little bit. That's a little better. It's a little falling off though. So I just always thought she looked really good in this. Um, I don't want to put it up too high so that you can see her face better. Um, the doll that's in it looks good too. I'm, I'm not saying she doesn't, but I'm just saying I thought, oh, well, this one looks good in it too. When you take the scarf down, by the way, that's what her face looks like. And, you know, she's just got her hair braided. So, yeah, let me put that back up. It's just such a great outfit as people commented. And, you know, it's got the gloves, which are kind of a little bit more like mittens due to Barbie's uh, hands, I mean. But, um, you know, it's part of the fantasy. And the shoes were mentioned. They are great shoes, by the way. So, yeah, this I think this outfit would look good on a lot of dolls. I'd actually want to try it on an African-American doll as well. So maybe that'll be the next one to wear this. Okay, let me move on. Now, the doll that um, I want to show you next is this doll. And she is also in an outfit from that same collection. And this is the Between Takes Barbie outfit on this doll. Which, this is Teresa, and for the life of me right now, I can't remember which collection she's from. Um, I don't have her outfit up. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, it's on the next, sorry. It's on the next doll, so um, you guys can help me remember which Teresa this is, since I'm not remembering right now. It, I was going to say Amazing Nails, but that's not right. She was the one that had that new waist and the little belly button, I believe. So, um, But I've just always loved her hair and her face. It's just really such a nice combination, and I thought she looked excellent in this dress. Now this dress is just one of the most beautiful Barbie dresses I think there is. I mean it would be in my top 10 for sure. The only thing is I'm not sure with these. I think these are supposed to go around the doll's neck, these two pieces. But I can't get it to do that so I just use it as a decoration at the top. Um, it seems too short. Now maybe on the actual doll this goes with that I'll show you next, it would work, but with this doll, it doesn't work. Um, other than that, she's got this long train-like thing here. Um, very sheer fabric. Love the color. And the color looks excellent on her, looks excellent on the doll that it was on. And I've shown you Between Takes Barbie before, so I'm not going to show her today in her original outfit. I will be showing her and she's actually in this doll's outfit. So they, those two just swapped. So I wanted to show you four dolls today that are redressed. And that's what uh, these are all, what's similar about all these dolls. So here's her hair again from the back. Of course it could be cut a little better, I would think, on the, you know, this length. But other than that, I really like it. And it's one of the few dolls I like that just has a middle, a simple middle part in her hair. So this, and you know, these, with these not being where they should be, they're not perfect. They don't stay in place. Also, she has a bracelet, I believe, that was on her, but it's in the, um, the paint, whatever this thing is, this container I brought them up in, um, it's in there because it's gotten so loose that it won't stay on her wrist very easily, so I'm about to make it a necklace, I think. Okay, let me set her down, 
There we go. And show you the next doll. So here she is. And this is a Between Takes Barbie, like I said, that I, wa I got, I believe, out of the box. Or the box was damaged and I took it out. And I thought uh, she looked really good in this outfit. And I think because they're of their hair color and their skin tone, that's why they, they look good in each other's outfits. But she was originally in the, the last outfit. Um, so I think she looks good in this as well. And she's got the waist for it, that's for sure. Um, she doesn't... Oh, and this I think this is actually on backwards, maybe. Oh, let me show you. I'm going to take her off this stand so I can show you underneath. And maybe it is supposed to be like that, because it's just supposed to be able to come off. And, you know, there's the pants that she's wearing. They're kind of loose uh, on her waist, so I'm not sure why that is. Oh, and I see, let me set this cape down. Um, they're in part, so I don't know what the deal is with that. I'd have to look this these up, you know, this particular doll. When somebody reminds me what they are. Um, they had the Everflex waist, I think, on the on this doll, I mean. So this doll was in this outfit, and this one was in hers. Um, but these pants look like they come apart. I'm not going to take them apart, but there's a separation here. I mean, you can kind of see when I do that. So maybe they also became shorts. Um, if you take this off, she's just got a little, almost like a tube top top. Um, very tight. <laughs> so, and shimmery. But anyway, cool outfit. I really like it, but I do like it better with the um, bottom part. I was calling it a cape, but I don't know if that's what it would be called, since it's on the bottom half. Uh, let's put it back on for now. There we go. And even it is... A little loose, but i got to tighten it up a bit. Okay, so again, here she is. Here's her hair. I've just got it up for now like that. Um, she looks really good. And this is one of my favorite Barbie faces. Okay, so let's move on to the last doll today, which is this one. And her hair is kind of messed up. So I believe, well, not believe, this, this is a Fashion Avenue outfit. And I just put her in it. She was, again, um, I think she was the, the Hollywood doll with the big hat, maybe, and the sunglasses. I'm trying to remember. I don't have the box with me. So, anyway, she was from that series, uh, Hollywood Collection. And this, I thought, looked good on her. Like I said, this is a Fashion Avenue outfit from when they were really popular and very well made. I mean, it's a big kind of a big skirt for me but um, you know I think it looks pretty controlled it's not out of control and you can you can certainly put it like as if it's a toilet paper cover we won't mention that right now um, too much but you know of course I like it when it looks a little more contained and um, bottom line is I like the outfit and it looks good on her so here's the face on this one now her hair is certainly not my favorite it's kind of cute for what it is, but I, I just don't like it as much. Um, but these dolls have some of the best faces, I think. You know, they're just painted so well. And a lot of them have a little beauty mark. Um, here's her hair from the back and the outfit from the back. And then, um, of course, this is where there was Velcro. So it's Velcroed in the back. But at least the pattern's all the way around, unlike some modern ones. Um, and of course, the faux fur trim on the neckline and on the um, wrists. So, yeah, what do you guys think of this and the other three? Um, just some great dolls, especially these, these last three. I mean, that first one is just, to me, kind of an average blonde doll. But these are all um, nicer dolls, I think. But all the outfits are just, you know, I mean, this is truly one of my favorites as well as uh, this green one. You know, these are two of my favorite outfits. Let me just get that one back up here to show you. These two. Get her hair out of there. So you can see both outfits from that same collection. Uh, between takes and I think this is publicity tour. 
So, okay, well, you guys stay safe in this troubled time that we're all living in. I'm trying to do my best to uh, stay safe and healthy, and I want everyone to do your best as well. Because I want to see you back next time, and I hope to be here as well. In the meantime, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.